Greetings again, it's Delisa, and this is Delisa's Life Dance, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about Black History Month and its founding. I know it's February 2nd, I missed you on February 1st, but let's make every day something you can notice and learn something new about Black History Month. So I want to give you a little backstory on how Black History began. So I have my laptop because I don't have it memorized. But I will give you an opportunity to learn along with me. So this is Delisa, Delisa's Life Dance, and here we go. So Carter G. Woodson is the, um, in 1926, he's a historian, and Carter G. Woodson and the Association of Association for the Study of Negro Life and History announced the second week of February to be Negro History Month. Now we're done with that terminology and it has switched to Black History Month. This week was chosen because it coincided with the birthday of Abraham Lincoln on February 12th and Frederick Douglass on February 14th, both of which dates black communities had celebrated together since the late 19th century. And with this history book week, Woodson deeply felt that at least one week should be allowed for the general movement to become something natural, annually celebrated. So now um, we've, we've gone forward through time and um, in the 30s, Black History, Black History Month um, countered the growing myth that the South, South, South's lost cause was epitomized for the novel movie Gone with the Wind. That meant argued that slaves had been well treated, that the Civil War was a, a war of Northern aggression, and blacks had been better off under slavery. When you controlled a man's thinking, you could not worry about his actions, wrote Woodson in the Miseducation of the American Negro, a book that um, should be on your list. Um, in the United States in 1970, Black History Month was first proposed by black educators, black United students at Kent State University in 1969. The celebration of Black History Month took place at Kent State one year later. So, um, yeah, so let's, let's uh, recoup, let's re rethink that and reiterate what I've just said because when you repeat, it enforces the learning. So in the 20s, um, so for, in the 20s, it was uh, Carter G. Woodson and commemorating the week around Lincoln's birthday and Frederick Douglass's birthday. In the 30s, because of media, Gone with the Wind, came some misconceptions of that. So I think it may have been lost a little bit in the 30s, but a resurgence in the United States came back in um, 1970. Now, on, on February, 21st, 2016, the 106th year of Washington, D.C. resident and school volunteer, Virginia McLaren visited a, the White House as a part of Black History Month. When ask, asked why she was there, McLaren said, a black president, a black wife, and I'm here to celebrate black history. That's what I am here for. Many leaps and bounds through time with black history. So please comment below if you liked anything in this post that I've talked about. Um, in the Bay Area, it's often been sort of a competition between the Lunar New Year and Black History Month. There's lots and lots of celebrations around Lunar New Year because uh, it's the same month. So we have to make sure that we acknowledge a lot of things, both things. There's always something to celebrate in the Bay Area. So we're celebrating not only Lunar New Year, we're celebrating Black History Month out here as well. And that's my lucky scratching at the door, trying to get at me, but she can't. The other thing that I want to do on my posts, I want to highlight this year, I would like to highlight um, 
black musicians, African-American musicians and singers, uh, because I enjoy that. I'm part of an uh, African dance group, the Chinikari Ensemble. You guys should know that by now, www.chinikari.com. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to highlight today. I don't know if any of you remember, but you may remember Anita Baker. So I'm going to put her uh, information in the right up here in my channel. And so please look her up. I'm also going to uh, cut and paste this uh, Wikipedia information on Black History Month so that we all can be informed on all the fun and amazing holidays. Even during the lockdown, you have something to learn. You have something that you can be do doing. You can grow. You can take your time to do some self-development with me. <laughs> good for your mental health and good at this time too because the contributions that African Americans have made in this country have been very vast and it's time that we acknowledge once a year for each day every month someone in black history so today I would like to honor Anita Baker I would also like to point out Cicely Tyson she's not a musician she's an actress she had has passed away at the end of January but I'm gonna include her in Black History Month, are you kidding me? Woman Amazing, the movie Sounder. Please watch her in it. That was a movie I watched when I was a little girl and it was profound. It was eye-opening to me to see Cicely Tyson on screen and perform in the way she, that she has performed. And also Miss Jane Pittman, I don't know if you remember her acting that role. All right. Like, subscribe, sub like, subscribe, share, subscribe. <laughs> and I will see you on a magic Friday. A fantastic Friday. It's not a magic money, it's a terrific Tuesday. So anyway, y'all, I love you. And I will be seeing you very soon. Take care. Anita Baker. Listen to her music. Caught up in the rapture of love. <laughs> Oh, little snippet. Ciao, ciao.